What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. Probably two or three weeks since I posted a video and probably longer since I posted a video updating you guys on the Red Sea Reefer 350. About two weeks ago I got into a car accident and I just haven't done anything since and the tank is just getting out of control. So first thing first my j bow um, wave maker broke and it just stopped spinning uh, i looked up some videos and people were talking about the propeller or the stem holding the propeller getting um stuck with gunk and stuff um, preventing the magnet propeller from spinning i cleaned it and everything and it's still kind of dead it doesn't even um make any noise or have any um, signs of life to it. Now I reached out to the seller. I had this for just about a year now. I reached out to the seller um, to see if they sell the, the wave maker itself without the controller. Um, they mentioned to send it back and pay them a $5 fee to get replacement parts. I uh, just haven't had time to do that yet. Now when the wave maker um, died on me, it stopped all of the flow on this side of the tank. Uh, if you guys remember, I had it in back pointing down to push the detritus out and something happened. Um, it messed up the flow and my huge green anemone um, he started moving around and he went under this rock for a couple of weeks and I did not want to kind of break down everything to get at him he kind of just stayed down there and he moved over to this side right here and once I saw him up here on the move I grabbed him and he was kind of in bad shape so right now that's the anemone he looks like he's going to die, but I'm not even sure. So I'm going to title this um, this video as, Is My Anemone Dying? In the past, when they look like this, it, they're just going to deteriorate and kind of turn into mush. So I have a couple of days off, so I'm going to keep an eye out on him. Um, his guts were all out and kind of all over the place. So I just placed them on top of the rock hoping that he still has enough strength to kind of um, recuperate and latch on, I guess. And then I'm not going to touch him or bother him or stress him out even more. I'm just going to leave him as is and keep an eye on him. If he looks like he's going to melt or just turn into mush. I'm gonna take them out before it contaminates the whole tank. The entire tank, um, it's been weeks since I done anything to it. Uh, like these pieces right here, um, sour apple bird's nest. Um, it came from my Lagoon 25. Um, the purple stylos came from my Lagoon 25. I had something happen with that tank and then um, whole colonies were kind of dying so in an emergency I started fragging this was weeks ago and they're all up here right now but my tank looks like a mess right now I didn't scrape or clean up any anything I'm just showing you guys everything as is <coughs> I scraped a little in the front but you can see I, I I got algae issues coming back on the floor right here when I was doing a water change. I accidentally sucked up the entire um, GSP colony so it ripped it up so I have all of these little pieces all over the place. Um, over here it looks fine, nice and green and fluffy but my entire tank is a big mess right now. I need to find some time to like get everything back in order um, all of the other anemones are doing fine you can see right here they're all bubbling up it's just that one green um, bubble tip anemone 
for whatever reason, um, he just went under the rocks. You guys can see, sorry, it's so nasty. He just went under the rocks and just stayed under there for two, three weeks. And then I thought it was so big that he couldn't like shrink down this much. But once I saw him peep out again, he was so small. So I figured when he was hiding down there, he was kind of um, deteriorating because he wasn't getting the light or getting fed at all. I took a gamble and I thought he would come up whenever he wanted to. But right now, just gotta keep an eye on him and then see how it goes. Um, I'll be sure to update you guys on this guy because he was pretty big. Probably half the size of this uh, anemone. But he was pretty big and fluffy but it's so sad to see him like struggling like that. Uh, here's the tank again I got algae issues but then if you if you're looking at the rocks like right in the center right there I'm starting to get spots of coralline algae on the rocks so hopefully in six months to a year um, all of this rock um, work right here it's just gonna be purple <laughs> with the coralline algae. You can see right there in the center, you see spots of um, coralline algae on the rocks. But the, anem the anemones, they all look great. The rainbow and the rose bubble tips, they all look great and they're all expanding, growing. This one took off right here too and they're splitting. It's just that for some whatever reason that green bubble tip did not like something about the tank I think it was the um, the flow because this J bow wave maker died and it caused him to move from up here to underneath and I'm hoping he'll just like recover or whatever but the entire tank Looking crazy, dirty. I'll take some time to scrape everything and then we'll come back and I'll show you guys how the tank looks with the blue lights on and everything like that. All right guys, so it's the next day. Yesterday, I just kind of quickly scraped all of the front glass and everything, tried to clean everything up. And we were talking about the green anemone how it didn't look good and I was hoping it will make a turnaround but this morning um, after the lights turned off last night this morning I guess through the night it kind of just got gotten worse and it's pretty much all mush in there right now on top of the rock now I don't want to stick my hand in there and then kind of grab it up and kind of spread all of that body matter all over the tank so I'm whipping up a batch of um, salt water right now so I could do a quick water change just one bucket and while I'm doing the water change I'm just gonna stick the siphon onto the anemone and hopefully I could just suck all of that out without um, spreading it too much all right guys I got the anemone out when I initially started to um, siphon him out he got stuck in the tube and then I had to yank him out real quick and throw him into the bucket and that caused the particles to kind of float all over the tank and I came back and I started um, siphoning out all of the floating particles I got most of the big parts out but yeah dude I got a whiff of the anemone and it stink real bad I now I know why people say that the anemone can just um, kill your entire tank if you um, leave it in there for too long. I only left it in there for one extra day and it's a big mess now. Mm -hmm. 